Okay, so. So, I'm trying to add this thing on. I can't. That's not really connected, is it? No, it's not. I don't know why it's flipping like that every time I plug it in. Not supposed to do that. rotating it for some reason <laughs> it's not is it doing a 90 degree on me when it does that or what so that's too low okay fine come over there That one, and we'll move this one, and we'll plug in a longer one. See if this works. Should. Hopefully, that's far enough down. Come on, you can be. Get back in there and fight. Oh, that's freaking annoying if that's all it's gonna take. Jump completed, fit all. As soon as I let go of the button, it's doing that. Is it because it's on the edge? No. Put you upside down. Casting backup shouldn't be any of our people. Okay, you want to rotate it that way? I don't do that. It's going to be. up and down, we want it to rotate uh, towards us or away from us. Nope, not that way either. That look good actually. Come on, you pansy, get back in there and fight. Come on, stick. Is that attached? I can't tell if that's attached. Yeah, it looks like it is. 
it's not really the way I want it, but at this point I'll be taking it. So, this one. Jump completed. Frelin. This one we can get out sideways, sort of like that. Hello there. Oh, that one was much easier to do. So I want that one to be sticking out the same way, though. But that one rotated really Hello easily everyone. for some reason. My name is Veronica, and welcome to Gimby's oh, Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way, you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also follow Gimpy over on Twitter at Gimpy Knee. He tweets out there when he goes live and will more than likely follow you back. Thank you for watching. Yep, thanks for watching. Happy Saturday. Is that connected? Can't tell if that's really connected there or not. See, so when you touch it that way, it flips it up. So I have a suspicion that's not actually connected. I don't know why it's doing that. It's above the lower limit there. Look how messed up that is now. Auto saving again. We <laughs> so the joys of building the space stations. It's not fitting where now. I wonder if I could plug it into the bottom of it of this uh, spire coming down. Might be able to do that. Saves a lot. And it's every ten to fifteen minutes for the auto saves. It seems like it happens fairly often, but that's because time flies when you're playing this game. Time just disappears, and it, but it's like every 10 to 15 minutes. I actually might even be 10 to 20 minutes. Jump completed, Bellosa. And it has, a, I think it has something to do with um, when, the sh when your main ship moves through areas too. There's a better chance for a save to happen. Not exactly sure how it works, but. Finally, work. <laughs> they have to dock sideways, but that's okay. I can accept this. It's ugly as hell, but I can accept it. So, that. Accept the estimate, and build it over here. It's all set. Huh. <laughs> that was an ordeal. So where are we? We are in... We're docked.
Knocking sideways is allowed in some areas, just not the norm. Right. <laughs> Welcome back, Meerkat. Happy Sunday for you. Oh, we're not talking yet. That's what we're supposed to be doing. We're just not there yet. Jump completed. Exodine. There, yeah, almost there. Okay, and our little jumpers here in Corellia. This guy won't do anything until there's some place to tow stuff to. Oh, collect salvage. There we go. So do you have to tell him to do that stuff? It's gonna be sucked if it does. Because his behavior wasn't showing up before as having a salvage op option, so I don't know how that's going to work. Yeah, I don't know how that's going to work. Oh, auto salvage. Duh. Anchor space is going to be Corellia. And maximum range will be two. I think that's not close enough, but... Corellia, one, two. I get him down to Denon or there. That'll work, won't it? Jump completed. We can get Hang some on. fighting going on in here. That'll help. Well, actually, we can have him based out of Denon, and he can go all the way up there to Corellia to get the stuff done, right? Let's fix that. Fix that to Denon. Okay, little tug. Do your job. Maybe. So, Corellia, we're 20 minutes to get the scrap recycler built, the processor. I think we're having those built in the correct order, I would think. So, we'll find out. Now, I wonder if we'd be able to assign him like that, him being the salvage ship here. Salvage for commander, there we go. Ta-da. Okay, so that actually might work. So we've got a freighter to sell stuff, freighter to get stuff for building stuff, and then we got the, the tug to go get stuff. We may have to get some more tugs, I have a feeling. Probably should. Because <laughs> I don't think one, well, I don't know, we'll, nah, we'll get two. We'll get two more, they're not too expensive. We got those out of hut space. They're small ships. Tug tugs. And that. Yeah, see, 600,000, so we'll get two of them. That's done. I forgot to look to see what else you actually sell here. That, Porax, Star Chaser, the Y Wing Bomber. What about mid size ships? Middle size. So, Defender Light Corvette. Now we've seen those. Stuff, Miner, stuff. That guy. Okay, so nothing special. Now oh, we got messages. Low 
Priory. Coruscant Financial Bureau rating update. Oh, look at our total assets cost estimated at 15 million? That's not right. No, 152 million. <laughs> Sorry, 152 million. We're rich. We're rich, 152 million. What does that mean? I don't think it means anything, does it? Financial. Oh, here we go. We're privateer if we're less than 150 million in assets. Private company if we're at 150 million, that an organization at 300 million. So we are a private company now, I guess. What does that mean? I have no idea. I don't think it means anything. We docked yet? Looks like we have. Or we're docking. Okay, missions. Hired help. A number of our properties recently failed to an inspection due to leaks. Blah blah. I am not going to repair your stuff. Saturday and Sunday, July 16th and 17th, are the monthly giveaways for July. A $25 Steam gift card will be given away each day. You have to be a follower of the channel and present to win. Check with Gimpy if you have any questions about Victory the giveaway. Star Destroyer. Thanks for watching. Yep, thank you for watching and uh, yeah, congratulations again to Xanthium who won today. Or is that, is it that? Yeah, Xanthium. Uh, he's getting a $25 Steam gift card, gift card in a couple of days because we weren't not friends on Steam yet, but that's us see to fix. And again, we're giving another one away tomorrow. Still waiting to dock. How much money do I have anywhere? 17 million. I should build a defensive uh, station here to get our rep up with the, the Republic so we can get access to the B-Wings and stuff. Not that we need them, but B-Wings would be nice to have. So, we're going to build another station real quick. Denon. And we'll put it on the other side of this gate, just for fun. Actually, no, we don't need to. We can put it up closer to these two. It's not that far. Everyone saw the flip, right? when you get extended a little farther out do solar panels auto saving again see that was at least 10 minutes right because you guys did 1628 and it's 1641 now so that was at least well sorry that's not right no it's it's 439 439 now so yeah it's about every 10 minutes The funny thing is, is, you know, you do it too because if a game crashes a lot and that kind of stuff, or you're screwing up a lot, you know, it's a good tool to have. I guess I can extend it out because the game is actually really, really stable. Just jinxed it, but, you know, so now we can extend this out. Next uh, plane there. Put it right about here. Buy the license. Continue. And we'll do the same. I like the, the disc. It's got four medium docking bays on it, I think.
Close enough to the middle. Close enough. That's a little low. Eh, we'll be fine. Good enough. Let's copy that. Put it on the other side. Come on, down there. So like that, and then we're going to attach the oh we've got to do storage, so Come on, you pansy. Get back in there and fight. I am fighting. Fighting the interface. It's the most important battle of all. The game knows Gimpy's playstyle and compensates for it. Does it? Does it really? If it knew that, it would be giving me uh, Imperial Star Destroyers from the very start instead of making me pay for them. Of course you can't do that. <laughs> if you really want to, you can actually start with the Star Destroyer. It's not hard to do. Okay, so storage. Containers. And this is for collecting all the solar cells we're going to be making. I don't know if that's going to work. Hey, Dom, welcome back. Happy Saturday and boss fight. Tully, did you hear that? There is a boss fight starting. That's right. I said Tully. Unlike Gimpy, I know the difference between Tubby and Tully. She does. She really does. Some more storage, because you can never have enough uh, storage for energy cells. Okay, so uh, confirm. Accept estimate. Wow, four million, huh? Let's see if there's any ships out here to hire. There's ours, but it's busy. It's with the question mark. Oh, it's... oh, there's a shipyard hiding over here. Fondor. Oh, that's right. Fondor's got shipyards. Forgot about that. Okay, we need a builder. There's not enough builds out, building ships out there. Of course, we're building two stations relatively close to each other, which doesn't help. Leon Scott Kennedy, welcome to the stream. Speaking in before sleep. Well, 
thank you for checking in. Have a good evening. So no ships available or no build ships available. It's a busy one, but they don't like us. Question? Okay. Ask away. If you like X2 quite a lot, will you enjoy X4? Um probably. I mean it's basically the same type of game. The main difference is between X2 and X4, the big difference is how stations work. I think uh, the X4 system is probably easier because it's... Keep, keep in mind, I haven't played X2 in well over 15 years, probably. Um, or 10 years, however long. It's been a while. <laughs> At least 10 years since I played X2. Um, and from what I remember from X2 is building the stations is it's it's not common. it's not difficult but it's this is a different system I don't know if you saw me putting one together here a couple minutes ago um, but it's a different system of building stations I like it better in X4 uh, but X I mean X2 system is fine but the X4 system is different um, and I think it's a uh, it's better overall oh you didn't see it okay. Well, let's show off real quick then. Oh, I still need a ship. Bastion. Ugh. Sure. It's a trip, but... Anyway, so... <laughs> what I was just doing here was part of the station building process. You actually have to find... Well, they actually do it in X2 too, right? You have to, you have to get a building ship to build stuff for you. Knowledge of controlling the ship will be okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Can, flying around on a ship? Yeah. No, no, no. It's, it's, that's basically the same. Flying a ship is flying a ship. And then, um, yeah, it's, it's not really that different. It's actually probably better. Anyway, so this is the station I just built. This is a solar panel or, you know, a solar, solar factory, right? You need a docking bay for ships to, you know, to land on to the to take stuff and that kind of stuff you build that first and once that's built you assign a manager to the station why do you need a manager because the manager because you assign you know your freighters and and stuff and mining ships to stations that need mining ships and freighters and whatever and the manager tells them to go get the stuff right so that's what the manager does and then of course you have your storage that's what the these canister looking things are that's storage for containers there's also storage for um minerals and water or fluids actually it's right there isn't it solid so solids or ores fall into the solid category liquid is water and different gases and of course containers is everything else in this case uh, solar solar cells are container stuff so you got that and you just basically you know build a little skeleton for the station to you know to be bought to be built on you can re-rotate re the pieces and those kind of fun stuff like these two are obviously, these are actually the same thing. Medium container, medium container, just rotate them, you know, 180 degrees and stick them on, on upside down. So again, I really like the, the station building element in this game because you can be whatever you want. <laughs> as long as you can fit the pieces into the, to the land, you're set to go. We found something out here. And uh, so, and then once you, you know, get it built up, you have to, a set, uh, uh, have a budget set for the construction so you can take the estimate in this case it's five point or 4.5 million which is really expensive but that's because of the solar panels that's the bulk of the cost right there and then you have to assign a builder to it and then you're ready to go yeah ship control is pretty much the same I mean currently we're sitting upside down on this uh, station because it's a uh, Station's got an upside down docking port, but we don't talk about that. <laughs> and what am I here for? I don't remember. I think I'm here looking for missions, aren't I? Not great chips flooding the market. 
Apply claim plot at specified location. Build a factory. I don't want to. I just did that. So what are we sitting here for? I don't remember where I... Where am I? Where am I? Oh, we're looking for trouble to cause. That's what we're doing. But as far as uh, the ship stuff goes, um, here, just easy enough to show. So, I am using a... My fighting ship, this is a... Um, Victory class, Victory 2 Star Destroyer. Just tell that guy to get out of the way. Take command of the ship. Undocked. And I'm using an Xbox uh, controller for this. And the autosave. Again, another 10 minutes, roughly. Currently, I have uh, two combat related ships. We've got the, the Victory 2 Star Destroyer and a Nebulon B uh, frigate which is mainly a anti-fighter uh, type ship. The Victory 2 is the sm is a smaller Star Destroyer. It's a large size, not an extra large, it's just large. And of course the, the Nebulon B is a large too, but it's like, what, a third the size of this thing? And then we have, uh, was it 12? Something like 12? Uh, fighters uh, assigned to the Star Destroyer. So again, you can go in reverse. This is what we're currently doing. At negative 75 meters per second. Sure. And kicking the afterburners. Turn them off and just start cruising around. You can see our fighters in there, all ready to go. That, and again, it's capital ships handled like capital ships for the most part. And as far as once you're, you know, this is all our stuff over there. So again, this is a Scotch Wrath is the Victory 2. Xanthium's Lotus is the Nebulon B. And then we've got four TIE Advanced and a Porax Fighter as our interception group. And then our Gamma group, which is the main attack group, is uh, five TIE Defenders, although Gimpy's personal TIE Defenders in there right now. And four X-Wings and a Y-Wing. Current user Argon Buster. Uh, so got that, and you can just right click on stuff, give them orders that way. It's pretty, I mean, it's again, it's been a long time since I played X2, but it's not, it's easy enough to do. This is not that hard at all. The Argon Buster? I know what an Argon is. I think it is. Oh, wait a minute. No, so Argon is the nationality, is a, the race, the buster. That's, I, <laughs> I can't, I haven't played X2 in ages. I can't think of what the buster is supposed to be. <laughs> it's been a few years since X2. Plus, I'm in Star Wars mo mode, too, so... But anyway, there's there. There's the Nebulon B behind us. Nebulon B escort frigate. So do we have any missions around here? It's not missions, that's missions. Defense measures. Satellite sensitive data missing? What's this one? Oh, I don't want to go chasing anybody. So I'm going to fight. Uh, there's a bug there. Claim a plot. Oh, that's already did. That's what we're working on, isn't it? We have a plot. 
This is down in space, so we can actually do this one. Minimum plot size four by four by six. Sure. I knew I could count on you. Here, stop moving so we can do this real quick. Autopilot engaged. Oh, it's got to be a specific spot. Aw, oh, you suck. I don't want to claim that spot. No, I changed my mind. I'm not doing that. How many shields do you have? Um, I don't have no freaking clue. <laughs> Autopilot disengaged. Uh, let's see. How many shields do we have on this thing? the shield generators there. 15, 18 total. I don't know what the... Let's give shield strength in here somewhere. Chip type shield. Nine, 900,000. Stretch your legs. You have been sitting in one spot for far too long. Yeah, the, the shields on this don't work that way. I don't know. If, I don't know if you noticed that or not. Shields don't work that way. I mean, they're the same system, but they don't tell you the megawatts, so you can't really say, "Oh yeah, that's how many that is." As you can see, that doesn't really tell you. They don't use the the megawatt thing, unless it's an encyclopedia somewhere. Megajoules. There we go. So there's mega, there's a megawatt recharge, but the actual capacity is megajoules. That's just the the one we were looking at. That was the LL Light Kuat 680. A fifteen thousand. Oh. So a little bit of a gap there. Just a little bit of a gap. Yeah, nine hundred thousand megajoules. And you can see the, the hull as well. Oh that's right, we're still damaged. Would fly at your ship to intercept enemies. Oh, so Basically, what you want to look at is the fighters, then. So the best fighter is the TIE Defenders. I don't know if they're the highest shields or not, though. Shields at 11,000. TIE Advanced is... Like eight thousand, eight point seven, or eighty-seven hundred. So shields a little bit uh, not as good as the buster there. Porax, I don't know what your shields are at. This is technically a heavy fighter. He's at ten thousand, so he's a little bit closer. That's a heavy fighter. Oops, stuff. Uh, X wings, they're not at that high. Y wing. This is in a combat a Y wing, so it's not probably not going to be that high either. Yeah, five thousand, fifty-six hundred. So yeah, nothing. No fighters that I currently have at fifteen thousand. But like I said, the Porax is at ten, and the Tie Defenders weren't too bad either, right? Yeah, they're eleven thousand. So. 
TIE Defender is considered probably the best fighter in the Star Wars universe currently. Not because it's got the biggest shields, but because of everything <laughs> that it does. Okay, so... Denon Factory. Waiting for our build ships to get down there. This one's on its way. That one's already in Corellia. Is everything done yet? Processing. Ah, the recycler's done. Processor's almost done. Argon Nova. Oh, I remember the Nova, I think. Ah, the quad jumpers are ready. They're going to be going to Corellia to help with the salvaging efforts. See how that works. Setting 5,000 shields max. The Nova, that's like a... It's a Corvette of some kind, isn't it? Frigate? Corvette? I don't remember. I just remember the name. Being a kind of a cool ship, if I remember right. If it's the one I'm thinking of, at least. Nope. It's an M3 class. Oh, I forgot what the M's mean. Still able to... Oh, so it's a medium-sized ship. Sniper Journey, welcome back. So it's a medium sized ship. Which, uh, let's see, medium sizes. Got miners that are medium sizes. Their shields are 182,000. My miners are tougher than, tougher than your ship. This transport, same deal. It's a medium sized ship. Its shields only have 21,000. Some only streamer I've come across that knows what is all. Oh, the salute? <laughs> that is, uh, that's old school stuff. That's old, that, that 07, or sorry, zero, or, yeah, it's O, letter O, 07. That's, that's old, old stuff. That's going back many, many years. Still a fighter class based on who we found. Oh, the M3? Well, yeah, it's, well, it's a heavy fighter. It's one of the bigger ones. Because it, it starts at, it's M1, M2s, and M3s. And then you move on to the frigates or corvettes or whatever. Basically what a bounty hunter would do. Okay. So... Actually wrong. Again, I haven't played X2 in over a decade, so. M5 is the smallest. Oh, okay, so. I just remember the M's, I don't remember. M4 is the fighter. Again, very rusty on my X2 stuff. It's been a while. <laughs> M3 is the heavy fighter, okay. Uh, we need to move to a different system, I think. Unless there's something there. Oh. Uh, let's 
Let's see. Where did we get that big fight earlier? It was over there, wasn't it? Yeah, let's cruise over here. Autopilot engaged. M3 is a heavy fighter, M2 of the destroyers. Okay. Again. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> Just a little while. Plus there's an X3 in between there too. I don't remember I don't even remember the stuff in X3. I've been playing this this one for a couple of years now, it seems like. And even then that's when I've been I didn't actually get back into um, X4 until a couple months back when the Star Wars mod got an update, so M1s of the carriers. Yeah, see, that's the thing is we don't have s those numbers anymore. It's sizes. It's smalls, mediums, larges, and extra larges. Smalls being basically your fighter types. The mediums being like um, frigates, kind of, sort of. Maybe destroyer. Uh, larges being destroyers and the ship that we're currently on, the, the Victory 2. And the extra larges being basically the battleship stuff, carriers. So they basically condense the, the sizes. Although the M system is, you know, a little bit uh, more detailed. M6 is something between all Hello of Hello everyone. My name is Veronica and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also find Gimpy on YouTube where he posts previous episodes and highlights of the stream. Just scroll down under the video screen and click the YouTube button in the About section. Then click the Subscribe button to follow. That's it. Thanks. Yep, thank you and happy Saturday. So I need to get two transports for that new station that I'm building. It's actually not done yet either. Too big to dock, too small to carry fighters. Great. Okay, so that's all we get to go. Let's go for auto salvage. Oh, they're being controlled by the stations, no worries there. Anyway, I gotta buy two freighters for. Denon factory, which is actually supposed to be a defensive one. I gotta do that too. Kinda screwed up here. Oops, auto save. Forgot this is supposed to be a defensive platform, and I kinda forgot the platform part. We got space. Oh, I should get the I actually get the freighters first before I do that. Come on, auto save. And this is pretty much doing yeah, every 10 to 15 minutes on the auto saves, roughly. I should again extend Come that out on, a little bit. You pansy, get back in there and fight. Jump completed. Chardon. Okay. So, settings. Game settings. Auto save is on. 10 to 20 minutes. Let's do 20 to 40 minutes. A bit better. Okay, now back to the factory, the Denon factory. We want to. We gotta add defensive module to this thing. Now we need the admin center. So we just need to move it away from that uh, platform a little bit. That's there.
Oh, that just fit perfectly, didn't it? How did that happen? Yeah, this is the part that's going to make this into a defensive platform, technically. Still need to put some of these disc defenses on, though, to keep them happy. This is where we're going to put our weapons on, too. See it, Leon. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good evening. So what's the admin center do? It it makes it so that you can. Um, it's a requirement for. What it takes to get your reputation up with factions. In this case, it's. Um, it turned. It makes the station a frontier defensive station. Station with administration and claim module is a sector. In a sector bordering either a contested, neutral, or enemy sector, makes us a frontier defense station, which all these are the different factions it affects. So in this case, we're doing it for the New Republic. And in order to get access to the militia, your citizenship up to, up to militia with the New Republic, you have to have two of these defensive Job stations, along with the other stuff ahead of it. So this is my first one for them. I need to build one more after this. So the idea is you get the you build these these defense stations the frontier defense stations and it once they're up and running it gets you access to uh, the higher military technology for that particular faction in this case for the new republic it will get us event it will get us access to b-wings and uh, the various uh, mon calamari ships it's easier to get <laughs> access to the Imperial ships than it is to get access to the New new Republic stuff, which is funny. Because the, the Imperial only requires one defensive platform. The Republic requires two. And in this case, we have... Uh, where system is it? Not that one. Back this way. So up here in Denon. So that's where it is there. So once that's built, That'll count as one of them. They still have to buy a, or build a second one somewhere. Now, I said that, I need to buy some freighters. Let me get those out of Kuat. And we want the Gazanti Imperial Arm Transports. And like resets. And we want to do two of those. Little price of four million. We have I believe that's seven and a half. So go. Autopilot. Disengage. So what ship from what faction are you planning on getting? Uh from the new well, we already have the access to all the Imperial ships, so whatever. <laughs> as far as New Republic goes, I want to get B Wings. Um and other than that, I don't think there's any other large-scale ships that I want from the New Republic. But I haven't looked at them in a while, either. So large size ships. Oh, Dreadnought. Having access to Dreadnoughts would be nice. And again, the M these are all the MC ships. Or Mon Calamari ships. Torpedo Cruiser, that'd be nice to have. You can see if we got some access. Oh, we got access to Nebula and C. So, those guys. Out of this group, the Dreadnoughts would be nice, and the Torpedo Cruisers, those are pretty good. Or should be. And then these are the bigger ones. These are bigger Mon Calamaris. That's the smallest of the group. This is the MC-80. This is the... I like the look at this one, overall. It's got 11 small docks, capable of 60 fighters. It's not a bad ship. And then home one. This is the biggest ship in the mod. Currently. Things huge. Doo -doo. 
dun, dun. It can actually carry two medium-sized ships, and you can see you've got a big hole in the middle. I think that's supposed to be there. And then the MC-80 Liberty. So this is basically, that's the difference between, it's just slightly different. Oh, this is more of a battleship. It doesn't carry as many fighters. And home. This is just a, this is just a different version of the 80. Yeah, the Liberty is a good one. Yeah, this is the one that can stand up. Well, I don't know. Yeah, this thing can do okay against Star Destroyers, I think. Boss fight. No, nope. boss fight. Tubby, did you hear that? There is so, a boss those fight guys. starting. I heard the squirrel is looking for you. Like I said, of these, of the extra large ships, I don't really have an interest in these guys, to be honest, because um, they have access to Star Destroyers. I'd rather have Star Destroyers. So, there's that. But again, out of the... Out of the... the, the, the ships that are... The large ships that are available. This, and then I, I wouldn't mind having a um, one of the, the Mandalorians big ship that's kind of like a Star Destroyer, the, the Mandalieve or something, whatever the name is on that one. It's the only big ship they really have. I wouldn't mind having that. And some of their smaller ships aren't bad either. They're uh, medium sizes. The larges are, I don't think they have a decent large. They might have one, but I think their medium sized ships are pretty decent, which wouldn't be bad to have. And everybody else after that, yeah. <laughs> Not a big deal. Yeah, the... What's it called? I always forget. It starts with an M. I always get it messed up. Kel Sorry, I thought it was an M, but it's a K. Keldabe. 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 I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce it exactly, but this one. The flying guitar. The space guitar. This thing is the one that can... It's basically a Star Destroyer. Kind of. It's not quite as big. It doesn't have as many uh, fighter, fighters in it. But it's the guns on it are pretty decent. It's supposed on. to be. Kill them with all the guns. Yep. That's what this one does. Kills them with all the guns. As you can see, it's got a fair amount of hard points out there for turrets. Just a few. You could jump down. Kill the commando with a good attitude. Poor commando. Yeah, this is the one I'm looking forward to. Again, the largest. I got access to the Dreadnought. Victorian Frigate. And that's not anything special. So nothing nothing great for them as far as large ships go. And then the medium-sized stuff. Oops. So the Crusader. This is a Mandalorian ship. This isn't bad. It's got a few uh, turrets on it for its size. So it's got the six dual laser cannons, one quad uh, laser cannon turret, and three dual turbo lasers. So it's not too bad. It's a good little medium sized gunship, is basically what it is. I wouldn't mind having a couple of those. Defender Light Corvette, this is not specific to them. Ah, there's the Lancer for Suitcraft. This is not a Lancer that uh, Bruce was talking about earlier, but this is a... Uh, this isn't too bad. It's got four laser repeater cannons and a heavy laser turret. A turret being up top. So this is basically a patrol craft type deal. But yeah, this this is actually a decent little ship too. It's like a big heavy fighter is really what it is. And gas collectors, these are just these guys. These are actually decent ships too. For their for their for what they are, these things are actually decent. They're expensive. They're more expensive than the other um, ships in their in their uh, their weight class. 
they're they're like almost a million more <laughs> than your typical freighter miner type stuff. Why? I think it's because they've got decent weapons on them <laughs> for their size. They actually have weapons and stuff, and they're pretty durable. You have Lancer. They have the Lancer. No, this is not the Lancer. This is they call it the Lancer, but it's not the Lancer. The actual Lancer is. Um, it's either a Republic ship or is it an Imperial? I forget. I think it's an Imperial ship, but it's a. It's specifically. It's kind of like the Corellian Corvette Imperial version. Its its main job is to shoot down fighters. This thing is not. That's not. Well, this job is to shoot down fighters too, but not the same way. This one actually engages the fighters and shoots them down. This is like I said. This is just a big fighter. Is really what it is. It's got two crew and. Again, those repeater cannons, those will tear stuff up. Are all these ships cannon? As far as I know, most of them are. Usually you can go, just go searching for them on the internet. I can go, say, the Lancer class gunboat for Mandalorian. And it should show up out there. It's a shoebox, or it looks like one. Oh, the, the freighter? It's not a shoebox, that's a miner. It's also a, could be a freighter too. But look at the guns on a so-called miner. It's got laser repeater cannons. <laughs> this thing is a, almost a gunship in itself. Oh, the Lancer. It doesn't look like a shoebox. It's round. And since when the shoebox is round? Oh, you're talking about the, the Lancer lamp. The, the real Lancer, not this one. Yeah, the Lancer that everybody's talking about, the anti-fighter ship. Yes, it looks more like a shoebox, yes. This is definitely not a shoebox. But again, it's not the Lancer, it's a Lancer. Not the same thing. Okay, my freighter should be done. So who at and oh, actually we're doing one by one here. You did so it wrong. Like going to this is how you do it. Denim. Warg. Please excuse me. That was embarrassing. I meant to say. Jag. Oh, we can't assign these guys yet, can we? We need a manager before we can assign them a job. And we can't get a manager until that docking module is done, which is seven and a half minutes away. So, having said that, we can still go start flying over in that direction. Which is... Come on, you pansy. Get back in there and fight. I am fighting. This is where they're going, so I'll have this fly down this way. Okay, so where are we? Just wrong button, go to that one. Support the Republic at Denon. Sure. Autopilot engaged. Off we go. So we got to go talk to somebody, and uh, we'll be fine. Could find somebody to beat up on. Wow, that's really far away. Twenty-four kilometers is supposed to be following us. That's pretty far away. Okay, so we're headed back to uh, over here. End up docking, go talk to somebody, get an assignment, go do, hopefully go beat up on something. So 
So eight and a half million. So these are our salvage ships. Hopefully they'll be able to do some money for us. Because that's what the station in Corellia is supposed to be doing. Logical overview. So just, uh, there's our scrap metal. Raw scat scrap. So the station is missing storage. What kind of storage that we need? Solids. Okay, so we need to get that built. I autosave. That was a really quick 20 minutes. Was that 20 minutes? <laughs> so again, take the scrap, raw scrap gets turned there and gets processed into uh, module prefabs and oh really module prefabs from there that seems not right I'm not complaining they do some prefabs jump completed char down okay so we need storage which is again not that one Solids. Well, that's container storage. What those are? Hey, Gimpy, have you hydrated lately? No, if not, not really. You really should. Yeah, I know. So I don't think. Actually, that will work. I think. Storage. I don't know that one. That one. Will fit. Okay then. So works for me. Solid storage that we want. Four containers? Sure. Flip them upside down. Bring it up here. Just like that. I guess I could have just. No, I can't copy those because they're a different type of module different material. There we go. For module changes, do we have a builder here? We have no builder here. Jump completed. Then on. Where's our other builders? Alderan, close enough. Okay, so that'll get down here, build the stuff, and have a nice little scrap processing plan. Are we where we're supposed to be yet? Not yet. Quad jumper. Ah, oh, it's a tug. Tug. <coughs> Just flying around. He's uh, doing salvage stuff. 
Oh, is he actually towing something? It doesn't look like he's towing something, is he? No, yeah, maybe he is. So his job is to uh, haul stuff back to the processing plant and throw it in there. Anyway, so this is our little tug. Flying so slow. There we go. Awaiting orders. Okay, so our trans or our freighters have been built. Or no, they got to the where their location. We're just waiting for that station. Awaiting orders. Yeah, yeah, I heard you. Waiting for the docking module to be built. Another ninety seconds, and then we get to go. I think I want to. Uh, manager too. And that's where we're docking. Seconds left. Autopilot disengaged. Okay, so I'm going to park this thing. Defense platform. Docking granted. upside down docking maneuver. Looks like we're locked into docking. Is that what's going on? There we go. Best pilot in the galaxy. <laughs> uh. Okay, before we go talk to that person, we want to get our. Uh, oops. Freighter set. Oh, we need a manager for Denon. And who's the ore miner here should have a good choice of uh, people to choose from, or sorry, managers to choose from. So management two, two, two. Look like three or better, if possible. Like almost five. Somebody's just getting a. That really his name. Work here as manager. Okay, so they've got a manager now, and I just need a couple of freighters. So go up there and trade for the commander in the Alpha group. And then your job is to work in the 
building stuff. Hello. So there they go. All set. Now that factory is. This is our defensive platform. So it's gonna be a while before all that stuff is ready. Is everything already built? They can't be right. That can't be right. Builders coming. Construction plan status. Shield components. Set. Oh, so we got the energy cells, the module prefabs. There's no way that stuff is already. Do we already have all that stuff here? There's no way. Something doesn't seem right. Our building budget's a little low. See what they want us to do. Go into the right room. For some reason, we Saturday can't. Saturday and Sunday, July 16th and 17th, are the monthly giveaways for July. A $25 Steam gift card will be given away each day. You have to be a follower of the channel and present to win. Check with Gimpy if you have any questions about the giveaway. Thanks for watching. Yep, thanks for watching, and congratulations again to uh, Xanthium who won today's giveaway. And we're giving out another one tomorrow. Or, sorry, giving out another $25 Steam gift card tomorrow. Sorry. Oh, that's not what I wanted. And for some reason, this panel is not always working for some reason. What I meant to do is go to a different ship, like say the Tide Defender. I want everything. What do I want this time for? Tide Defender. What do I want this time? I don't even know. Okay, so Gimpy's Tide Defender needs to go land on this station because our panel inside the Star Destroyer is broken. But life gives you challenges. Life is a pain in the ass. It's not a challenge, it's just a pain in the ass. There's a difference. There are challenges and there's are pains in the ass. Life is all about being, dealing with pains in the ass. It's not about challenges. It really isn't. Get to shoot out another defense platform. Uh, no smugglers to shoot down in front of us. It's okay. Thai defender. Come on, there we go. <laughs> the the orange line goes through the cockpit. That's funny. I haven't seen him do that before. That's why it's funny. Okay, so control room. Picking up a mission, hopefully. Hey, Slacker. Okay, so. Our support the patrol Good and our system. 
and from here we just go back to the Star Destroyer. There. And then we'll have Defender come join us. Okay. So where are we going? I think we're doing a patrol, aren't we? That's what it looks like. So, I get to drive this thing. Sorry, I'm busy right now. <sighs> Don't make me kick you out the airlock. Mm -hmm. Patrol time. See, we're already patrolling. Thank you. Autopilot disengaged. So we're just basically doing a patrol in the sector, or system, whatever. And the defender, Gimpy's Tide Defender is right there. Oh no, sorry, that's the There it is right there. It's just flying. It should be docking with us, I think. Okay, so we're on patrol for a while. Trying to make some money. The easy way. Okay, so I'll get there. Guess I should check the budgets on these stations. Scrap processing facility. So scrap metal issue is modules are without resources, so we need more scrap. Can you buy it? Doesn't look like it. So we need to find scrap. Uh, station account. I'm sure that's okay. Uh, profit from a trade. Oh, we're, that's right. We're going to be selling the uh, energy cells, solar cells, whatever. Yes, that'll work. So station account, use that, they can buy stuff. Drones, target amount is 30 drones. Those guys. Okay, so you. So it's just a matter of getting them scrap. Fly, fly. Autopilot engaged. There we go. Okay, so this is our defensive platform thingy. Who is really only going to be doing energy cells? Drones would be nice though. So account, no big deal. Construction. Lots of construction. Give him a couple of million to get going. Then it should probably be in the same boat.
ultimate, we've arrived, have we? Frigate's in the way. A little early, Mickey. Not time yet. Of course, now you guys get to listen to Mickey bark, because he's right behind me. Just about. Why is he barking? Who knows? Hey, ships aren't allowed to do that. Love the barks because it's not you don't have a pounding headache and he's right behind you. <laughs> he's Veronica. What Bucky? No, that's not Veronica. That's Mickey. Time. Oh, time's up. Yeah, but he's a little early. Mickey needs to learn to tell better time. Uh oh. F F. Thank you very much for the raid. Happy Saturday or Sunday. Come on. Of course he's ignoring me. Oh, we got messages. CFB. Hey, FF, thank you very much for the raid. And hello. Happy Saturday. Happy Sunday. Depending on where you are. So what message did I just get? That one. Of course, not going to, oh, the disengaged. A rating update already. That can't be right. Oh, our rating went down. It's that time again. Drink some water to keep that brain moist. How did our rating go down? Give him a follow. Who's F? Well, <laughs> Mickey. Hey, come here. He just looks at me. <laughs> just looks at me. He's gonna bark at me again. Autopilot engaged. Okay, so next station. We're just patrolling the sector for. Easy money, basically, because there's no real combat going on here. You did vanilla. Vanilla is good. There's nothing wrong with vanilla X4. It's just Star Wars. It's just, you know, Star Wars. Oh, now rocket's in here. Okay, what other missions are in this area that we might do? That situation, what's that one? Mess of the mine, oh, I'm not doing minefields. It's another uh, supporter raid over in a different system though. Let's get this one done first. That frigate's supposed to be following us. He's not supposed to be in front of us. There we go. Anyway, this is a uh, Victor Victory 2 class Star Destroyer. We bought it earlier today for the low, low price of uh, something over 20 million, I think. And then we went out and bought some fighters to go along with it. To bring our total up to... Uh, Four tie advanced, the poor axe, which is a heavy fighter. Then we have four, or sorry, five tie defenders. Gimpy's being uh, that's his private one there. 
why is it are we not in that one or where is that one he stocked on the ships no orders there and then we had we already had the four x-wings and the y-wing so explain expanding our fleet a little bit now we could attach some fighters to the the nebulon too he can carry a, like a dozen or so so we could have a lot of fighters flying around if we really wanted to we just chosen not to so far because it's kind of expensive sometimes Are we there yet autopilot disengaged autopilot engaged So flying around. Oh, sorry, Delm. Good job beating up on the commando with a good attitude. Happy Saturday to the commando. Insufficient funds for what? Got money. Not building anything. I don't know what this thing's supposed to be, but anyway, we can take some of your money. If you don't need it, I need it. Those two are still building stuff. This is our station over in Bastion, the Empire Space. Only nine million, huh? Slacker. Mandalore refined get both goods. Uh, you got money. Add money. He's not building anything though. I didn't think so. Uh, this is a solar power power plant. Well, it's actually a defense platform over in Imperial Space. Autopilot disengaged. Wow, it's not making any money. How's that happening? Why is that happening? He not made any for me, any uh, money. That's not what I wonder with this one. And he's occasionally selling stuff. Transfer, transfer. So they sell stuff and then they transfer it. Is that? To set that on that. Well, no, it's not a bad idea, actually. Come on, you pansy. Get back in there and fight. Estimate. Operating budget is 59000 So we do this, and... They send all the extra stuff to us? I think that's how it's supposed to work. Think. So you're not making a whole lot of money. Expected operating budget fourteen million. Who are you doing over there? Full of water. Still waiting for drones to be built. Silicon's almost full. Oof, that was that us taking that money away? Yep, that was us taking three million away. That was two minutes ago. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Forgot about that. That's good. That's not bad. See lots of jumps around here today, so that's three hours back. Mickey saying hello to everybody. Autopilot engaged. I 
Okay, so, no patrol. Unfortunately, there's no real processing that scrap to do because there's nothing really going on that I'm aware of. I agree. I take that back, is there? This is one of our tugs. Looking for scrap, but there's nothing there. Nothing over there. So basically, we're looking for little gray objects that represent dead ships. And that's where our scrap station, or scrap factory, is. Is there? Okay, Y-Wing, you have satellites. Yes, you do. Okay, so I'm going to drop a satellite over here. And then you're going to pick this one up. Drop one over here. It's basically what I'm doing, trying to keep uh, eyes on the the gates here. That's where fights usually happen. And because we can't see the gates, we don't know what's going on. So again, drop another one here. <laughs> That, and then pick up this one because it's not really doing anything over here. And then drop another one back here. Now, I don't know what the range on the scrap uh, ships is going to be, but. Yeah, satellites on both gates there. Mm. Autopilot disengaged. Autopilot engaged. Mm. Uh, if there's anything at these gates right now? Does what does it look like? So yeah, that's done. Once the uh, Y Wing is done dropping the satellites, he'll fly back to the, the victory. Do I want to go in this area? Probably not. Not in public, though. Ah, I don't want to send my scrap ships outside of New Republic territory. That'd be bad. Okay, so we're flying. Are we there yet? Oh, it looks like our patrol is up. It's time to talk to somebody. Autopilot disengaged. Defense platform. Docking oh. granted. Oh, look at that.
Watch this maneuver. <laughs> Watch this maneuver. This is going to be good. Why does it do that? Because I'm pretty sure that the pier there is uh, upside down. Related to the rest of the universe. Anyway. Okay, let's see if this actually lets us uh, use our panel for a change. Auto saving. Oh, so that patrol time wasn't a full run. You know, in six of twenty. Hmm. Imagine if you were looking out the window at that time. Actually, that's what you probably should have done. Instead of watching it from outside the ship, we should have watched it from inside. <laughs> okay. Come on. Panel, please work. Please work, please work, please work. For some reason this is bugged. It was working fine earlier, but for some reason it doesn't want to work anymore. We have to do this the hard way. Well, yeah, it's not the hard way, it's just an annoying way. So it's all. Okay, so again, we have to do this. Go to the. High Defender. Actually, we can go to any of this. Go to the Porax. Porax 38B. Okay, so this one we want to. Again, this is a heavy fighter. It's got four cannons on it, missile launcher. It's got, uh, I think, heavier shields and hull than an X-wing, I believe. But it's not as fast and agile. So not quite the firepower of an X-wing because it's missing a missile launcher. I'm not sure how the guns match up either, but uh, this isn't a bad. This actually isn't a bad fighter. It's pretty durable for a fighter. That's how we get out. <laughs> Apparently somebody forgot to close that. No. Come on. I can drive. I'm not drinking, just tired. Control room. So, this is uh, get the money for. Uh, I wish we could just talk to them. <laughs> just call them. I don't know why we have to visit them in person. It's annoying. So, patrol stuff pay out 349. Good luck out there. Any other patrol missions in this area right now? I'm gonna have to wait. No, oh, there we go. Now we just cheat and go back to the ship this way. And then we wanna call back the poor axe. Do 
duties, which is to dock on the ship. And the easiest way to get to our patrol is to... Oh, am I supposed to talk to somebody first? Oh, I hate this mission, these type of missions. I don't know why that happens that way. Son of a bitch. Dock and wait. And teleport there now. <laughs> the easier way of doing this. Because it's already here. Yeah, and I wish we just talk to them. I don't know why we have to go or call them. I don't know how to. I don't understand why we have to go talk to one person. Everybody else we get to talk to them over the message board or whatever communications. Of course, it's my fault. I knew better. I knew this was going to happen. But it's okay. Vera, how's it going? So, priority to control the sector where the mission guidance Hello, everyone. Unfortunately, it is time to end the stream. Gimpy needs to eat dinner and spend some quality time with Mrs. Gimpy and the dogs. Have a great day or evening. We will see you tomorrow. Also, Make sure to click the follow button and visit Gimpy's YouTube channel. Okay, you heard her. That's gonna unfortunately have to be it for today. Come back there. And we'll take care of this uh, later. Although, we'll be gone. So, on dock. comes Porax back. So anyway, that's going to be it for today. So thank you all very much for coming out and watching. Much appreciated as always. Hope you enjoyed the stream. I did. I really do like this game. The mod makes it tough. If you like Star Wars, you like flying around in spaceships, and you like uh, building space stations, this is the game for you. Okay, so... Having said that, uh, stream scheduled for the next few days. Um, tomorrow is Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous with Gimpy the Half Orc, Demon Slayer Demon. It's not a typo. Monday, don't know yet. Tuesday, playing some more X4 here. Uh, Wednesday, don't know yet. Thursday is going to be some more multiplayer Celasta with uh, Jeff, Hurricane, maybe Hobo, maybe Master Ghost, depending on their work schedules there. Friday, more MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries with viewers. Saturday, back here to X4. So that's our schedule. Also, tomorrow is uh, the second of the July monthly giveaways. We're giving out another $25, $25 gift card to a lucky follower tomorrow. So if you're uh, interested in getting one of those, make sure you're here tomorrow. Speaking of tomorrow, stream starts at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. GMT for some more Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. So that's going to be it. Thank you all very much for watching. Have a great evening, great day, where you happen to be. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you tomorrow.